Welcome to Breakfast with Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. put in the comments today. I know it's a weird time, but you know, my life is weird right now. You can purchase all of Dr. <laughs> Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudymorgan.com. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oop. Welcome. Yep, to yeah, missed that cue. Sorry. Okay, you can tell it's a little echoey. I've lost my backdrop. Um, I'm at the, I'm very late. It's the wrong time. Um, life is crazy past anything right now. Uh, Gwen and Brandon had a great beach vacation. At least I surmise that from the photos I saw. <laughs> um, so they are back in the office working hard today. And Hugh and I uh, just about killed ourselves over the weekend uh, trying to get moved. We had a U-Haul. We had a trailer, kind of a stock trailer, our pickup truck and our um, SUV and a million trips back and forth. Uh, yeah, we've sort of survived the move. The move is a long way from over, unfortunately. Um, we still, yesterday we um, did another whole day from the old house to the new house with the, um, uh, the, u-haul before we had to return it and half of our stuff is still in the barn and we have to move that back up and mom and i are here getting the last out of the old house today the cats are still living in this house um they can't move until the kitty condo is completely finished and it's not uh we moved in but a lot of stuff is still not quite finished um so it's just making it a little more work <laughs> that we want it to be, but it is what it is. Um, so we're coming over each day. We don't have a mailbox at the new house yet, so the mail's still coming to the old house. So we're coming here to get mail, packages, feed cats, clean litter boxes, and finish packing stuff up. But the cleaners are coming next Tuesday. We have to be out of here completely by Sunday. So, um, and then this week, we are also getting the keys to the new warehouse. So there's a bunch of stuff in this house that has to go to the new warehouse. Um, so next weekend, we'll be moving the rest out of this house to go to the warehouse. Oh my Lord. It's just, uh, yeah. And then in the middle of all that craziness, yes, we picked up Jasmine yesterday afternoon. So um, I, I know that she was within an inch of death, um, but it still almost made me cry. First of all, when they brought her out of the building, they don't allow anybody in. So when they brought her out of the, uh, the university barn, um, she saw us and just started screaming, hee-hawing at us. And uh, of course, I didn't have my phone ready in time, so I missed all the hee-hawing. Um, and I did take a bunch of videos, but I don't have internet at the farm and they won't post. I'll try to post them today. Um, so Hugh and I went and got her about 4.30 yesterday afternoon, brought her home, and she and uh, Ivan screamed back and forth. I did get that. Um, so that's a, kind of a fun video, but they screamed back and forth at each other. Ivan ran the fence, bucking, running around. Jasmine said, green grass, I'm outside. So she kind of ignored him a little bit. Um, then, uh, we're, um, 
were struggling with her because she needs oral antibiotics. She's on rifampin, metronidazole, and trimethoprim sulfa. She still has some pneumonia. She'll be on those antibiotics for probably another month, and it's three times a day. So I have to crush everything up, mix it with some molasses, some water, and syringe it in. This morning we had the bright idea because we used to hide the medications for Mama Ella in carrots. So Hugh drilled out a carrot. I put two capsules of rifampin. I didn't uh, open them up. Uh, I just threw the capsules down the middle of the carrot, poured some molasses on top, and it was, you know, that long. I gave her the chunk of carrot and she's, oh, yay, carrots. Chomp, 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 chomp. I looked down and she ate every bit of that carrot and molasses and the two capsules, completely untouched, unopened, were on the stall mat. I'm like, how? How does a donkey have that much sensitivity in their mouth that they can find two capsules in the middle of a carrot and... <laughs> so I said, all right, that's not going to work. So mixed it up again um, with the molasses and some water and put it in a syringe and did everything that way. Uh, so it, you know, I've got to set alarms on my phone to remind me to run out to the barn at two 30 every afternoon and give her her afternoon medication because I'm really bad at remembering three times a day. Uh, but she, both sides of her chest are shaved where they did the ultrasounds. Um, she lost a lot of weight. She only weighs 225 pounds right now and probably needs to weigh at least 300 to 325. So, uh, we got to get a lot of groceries on her and she's kind of interested in eating, but kind of not. Uh, so it's a matter of finding which food she actually likes. So I gave her miniature horse food. She likes that. I gave her some senior. She was like, I'm not doing that. Um, so, uh, so we, we had to get her into a stall. Well, after being at the university in a stall, especially being in isolation for the first 10 days after being there for two weeks, she was like, oh, heck no, I am not going into that stall. So Hugh was pulling, I was pushing, we had ropes behind her. No way. I mean, those feet were out. She literally sat down. She's like, I am not going in that stall. So... We had to do an end around, took her through the barn, took her out in the field, brought her up through the long runouts, through the open door. It still had to push her, but we did manage to get her in. Um, and the reason I wanted her to be in a stall overnight is I wanted her to be able to eat her food without anybody else pushing her out of the bowl because everybody else is, is pushier than she is. Um, and uh, so she ate. And then she was next to the Hinnies and their door was open so she could see outside to Ivan and Ella. Well, all night long, we kept hearing hee-haw, hee-haw. She would scream and then Ivan would scream and then she would scream and then Ivan would scream. They finally stopped sometime late in the evening. And then in the middle of the night, we heard them again. And then about five o'clock this morning, they started again. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, donkeys are really loud. The night before, our first night in the house, five o'clock in the morning, we hear, Ruh! Ivan, he's developed a really deep male voice. He sounds like a bull moose. <laughs> he's... So yeah, our neighbors have roosters. So we hear their roosters and then, and I like roosters, I just don't, I like listening to them. I don't want any. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Um, but then we get Ivan who wakes us up. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been fun and exciting. Uh, so I don't know if I'll get her back in that stall tonight. She went out and she got to go out in the bigger field today with the minis and hinnies to actually have grass. Uh, but she's not that excited. She kind of went out and nibbled a little bit, but it's a new environment for her. And donkeys are really funny. They, they, um, they aren't that excited about new places. They're like, Ooh, this is, she walked by a water bucket that I had put out and she's like, <gasps> Jasmine, it's a water bucket. Um, so it, it'll be some time. Um, I will get some videos and more photos posted now that I'm at the house for the, the next few hours. I've got internet here, so I will get that done. Um, so you guys can see kind of the running around playing, uh, happy donkeys that we have at this point. Um, so a lot happier having them there, but, uh, we have a ton of work to do. Our builder has photographers coming. 
Wednesday morning to do videos of the inside and outside of the house and he wants everything staged perfectly. <laughs> no boxes, no wrappings, like everything perfect. <laughs> so I'm trying to get just enough stuff unwrapped uh, to put some stuff on the shelves and make it look like somebody actually lives there. Um, <laughs> it's a big mess right now. Uh, so We've got our work cut out for us for the next couple of days. Uh, I clicked on my inbox this morning. I have 433 in one inbox and 1700 in the other inbox. Um, emails are not getting answered anytime soon, guys. I'm really sorry, but this week is like killer crush week. I'll get through a few, um, but if you need something, you need to email Gwen or Brandon because I'm pretty overwhelmed right now. Uh, Jasmine has to go back to the hospital in two and a half weeks um, to uh, get another chest x-ray and ultrasound and CBC chem. So, uh, and again, for those of you who donated to her GoFundMe, thank you very much. Um, they didn't give me the final bill yesterday, but last, a few days ago, we were at 9,700. So I know it went past that. So probably 11 or 12,000. So we really appreciate any help. Um, but we're very glad to have our little girl home. Um, Ivan is so happy to have her home, but he's pretty mad because he's on the other side of the fence, but we cannot have him leaping on her. She's still pretty weak. She got down to roll this morning. You'll see in a video and she had a little bit of trouble getting back up from being down and rolling. She also had herself too close to the fence, but, um, so, but she seems pretty happy and, uh, I can tell they took good care of her. She came home with her bag of goodies and it included a brand new brush that they were using um, for brushing her. So I know they were taking really good care of her. I have to say the North Carolina Veterinary College, at least the equine department, they were amazing. They called twice a day, every day, kept us up to date, really good reports. Uh, and maybe it was because I'm a veterinarian, but the veterinarian was very willing to listen to my opinions and questions on things. Um, and, uh, you know, really understood that this is not my gig having my animal receive 50 different antibiotics. I mean, she came home with three and I know that she had multiple others while she was there. I mean, she really had the kitchen sink thrown at her. They did do cultures. Uh, and she came home with a nebulizer. Have you ever seen a nebulizer for horses? They're kind of big. <laughs> it just goes up one nostril. Uh, because they were using it to puff steroids down her. So um, kind of fun, learning, learning. I haven't done horse work in, you know, equine veterinary work for a lot of years. That's what I originally wanted to do, but I haven't done it for a while. So kind of exciting to relearn these things. Um, so just a quick update. Uh, I will be over here tomorrow feeding cats, so I will probably pop on again. Um, yeah, I wish everybody lived closer and could band together too. Oh my gosh. I have bruises everywhere. He was like, how did you get so bruised? I'm like, uh, lugging 60 pound boxes back and forth and heaving them on and off of trucks. I don't know. <laughs> Walking into corners. Um, so we did, uh, last night, Hugh actually cooked at the new house on his new outdoor grill. I have pictures of that too. I'll put those on the fine and dandy page. He was, he was looking pretty happy. And uh, Sweta, you said we needed a good martini. Yeah, we ran out of liquor before we moved and haven't had a chance to go to the liquor store. We had a beer yesterday. <laughs> So, but actually I have been running a low grade fever with a sore throat and an earache since Thursday. Um, good time to be sick. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this is the one time where Tylenol and ibuprofen come in real handy. Um, yes, I'm holistic, but right now I'm just trying to stay on my feet. So, okay. Everybody have a wonderful day. Um, uh, I can't remember the last name, the person who rescheduled your consult from this week to next week. Bless you, bless you, bless you. I still have one this week and I have no idea where I'm going to do it and I don't even know where the information is. So I'll try to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Bumping into, yeah. I mean, my hips, my thighs, my arms, I, I'm just a mess. <laughs> so, okay. Everybody have a wonderful day. Let's see if I have music here somewhere. I think I do. I do. I don't have my lights anymore. 
So, we're going to get what we get until uh, maybe next week I'll have the studio set up. I went to put books on our brand new shelves in our new office at the new house. The books were too heavy, the shelves came crashing down. I had to explain to them that veterinary textbooks are very, very heavy. And of course, I filled the entire shelf. It's like a four foot long shelf. Textbooks, one end to the other. We were at the other end of the house, we heard this big bang. Went down there, I'm like, oh, what the hell? Oh, crap. <laughs> Oopsie. The builder came in today and he's like, well, who puts that many books on a shelf? I'm like, me, and I need to put that many on every shelf, so you better figure this out. <laughs> We'll work cheap. Yeah. <laughs> we need free right now. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.